The future of Western Ghats rainforests is dependent on these gardeners. It's not like they plant and till and fertilize, but they do something that's really difficult for some of the rainforest trees to do. Spread their seeds far and wide. This is how they do it. I'm Rohit Nani Vadekar. I have been studying hornbills since 2007. In India, we have nine species of hornbills. The smallest being about 250 grams, the Malabar Grey Hornbill, and the largest is the Great Hornbill, which weighs up to four kilos. Now, Great Hornbills are one of the iconic species of the Western Ghats. Hornbills mostly feed on fruits. This is a seed of Canarium. A hornbill might have perched on the tree and it would have dropped the seed. Now, plants can't move, and birds like hornbills help the seeds move away from the parent plant, help the plants move thereby. Now our research, hornbills could be dispersing up to 2,000 to 3,000 seeds per day per square kilometer, such large seeds. They can disperse the seeds as far away as 13 kilometers from the parent. Isn't that fascinating? I can't help but imagine the hornbill might have roosted on this huge palakon tree and would have dropped the seeds here. And look, you have these young trees of Litsia and Canarium. So hornbills feed on fruits and they disperse the seeds away from the parent plant. This is a very key important ecological role that hornbills play. They help the forest regenerate. And that's why they are called the gardeners of the forest. If hornbills have to breed and thrive, they need tall trees and undisturbed forests. Hornbills are fascinating breeding biology. Hornbills nest in tree cavities and these tree cavities hornbills don't excavate but they use these naturally occurring tree cavities which are formed because of branches breaking. But such tall trees with large cavities are becoming difficult to find because of habitat degradation and fragmentation in the Western Ghats. Habitat fragmentation leads to the loss of nesting trees and food for hornbills. Our research has showed hornbill populations have declined in the fragmented habitats over the years. The diversity of fruits in their diet is also low in such habitats. Hornbills and forest are so interdependent on each other that I can't imagine one without the other. 